Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bonus reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, you guys had a ton of views for the weekly reading, so I wanted to um, do a bonus reading for you guys. Um, if this video resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, comment, share, and subscribe, that helps me out a lot. And I do also per offer personal readings. So if you want a, um, if you have anything specific that you want insight on, um, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading with me. Um, and I most likely will be extending this reading. Um, so if you want a more in-depth look at the reading that comes through in this, um, and if you want a more in-depth look, that if you feel like this reading resonates with you, you're going to want to check out the extended reading. Um, that will be linked in the description box as well. Also, guys, if you guys ever see any spots like this on my hands, on my arm, um, I'm, a, I'm a stylist. I'm a color um, specialist. Um, so I'm just always have stains all over my hands, all over my nails. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let me move this tripod because it's touching the table and it's going to shake and I hate that. Messages for my Capricorns. What's going on with my Capricorns? The hair font. Mm. So there's something going on about some type of commitment here. Or a commitment on the table. Something's going on here. Ooh, let's see. Ah, somebody's wanting to come together with you. Somebody wants a reconciliation or to heal a situation with you. You may have been really patient. Or the situation is going to require patience. There's communication coming in from this person, possibly about a reconciliation, collaborating, working together on something, um, having a commitment here. I was just about to say possibly marriage for some of you guys, and then the four of wands came out. So yeah, this, somebody could also be talking marriage here, wanting something stable. There may be like a cause for celebration here, the tower here. Um, you and this person may have not been speaking recently because maybe something happened. There was some type of bad ending between you and this person. Something chaotic happened. Something came crumbling or crashing. Yeah, something happened here. Um, you guys have both been probably going through a healing process. Um, taking some time to think about things. Uh, but somebody has been really stuck in their head. or trapped in a situation here. All right. Let me shuffle the cards some more. Any more messages about what's going on here? I'm not seeing any, um, all I see here is fire energy and it's a page, page of wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So some of you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sag. Um, we also have temperance here. So yeah, some of you could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, the Hierophant is Taurus energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, you guys could have these placements in your birth chart as well. Other than that, um, the tower, I believe, is Scorpio energy. I'm not 100% positive on that, but. So some of you may be dealing with Scorpio. Tell me more about this. Yeah, somebody, um, there's somebody kind of, there's definitely communication coming in. We have the Ace of Swords here. Um, somebody is going to, wants to speak a truth to you, wants to clear something up here with you. Ah, possibly about a third party. This is a feminine, this is the Queen of Wands can sometimes be the other woman or the third party. Um, somebody wants to clear up something about somebody that they were, else they were dealing with here. And it looks like. They're moving away from that situation now. They're moving away. We have the Six of Swords here. That other person that they were dealing with could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or, like I said, it could just be the other woman. It could be any sign. 
Um, this person is somebody from their past, all right, or somebody that they have children with, or they have some type of tie. Maybe they've known this person since they were pretty young, um, or there's some type of something about children and regarding them, you know, the connection that they have with this person. Um, your person is, first of all, your person could have been taking a pause from dealing with you because there was obviously some type of conflict here. Um, I feel like your person was feeling very defeated. All right. Um, I also feel like maybe your person is gaining some type of um, clarity, maybe about this third party. And that's why they're moving away from them. They could also be seeing the past differently. And that's why they're deciding um, to move away from this person. Maybe they were looking th at the past with rose colored glasses. Um, and now they're not seeing it that way anymore. I think there's there. I, I think they may be seeing the past as something that was very like that defeated them. Something that a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos. They were dealing with somebody that was very like competitive with them or always wanted to get the last word or like just like drama you know what i mean as i'm talking about that the devil's here yeah this situation from the past was a lot of conflict a lot of toxicity um it was keeping them very bound stuck unable to um move forward uh to progress all right um the chariot they're moving away from that they're very determined um, to move away from that toxicity now. I see here with the Nine of Pentacles, your person is freeing themselves um, from this situation, all right? They were very bound. If you see in the Devil card here, the Devil, there's two people and they're, they're chained to each other, okay? Yeah, they're freeing themselves from that now. They're moving away from that. They're very determined. They're taking the initiative here to um, work out, be independent, um, maybe even become financially independent from this person that they were dealing with. Um, and it looks like, they're going to be very successful in doing that here with the six of wands. All right. Yeah, they, 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 they're going to be very successful after they move away from this third party. All right, guys. Um, your person couldn't make up their mind, maybe between you and this third party. Um, they were trying to maybe juggle you and this other person um, while they were trying to make a decision here. I also feel like here with the seven of cups, um, your person was stuck in some type of illusion of the past that they were not looking at the past, how it really was, or they weren't looking at this person for who they, who, who they really were. Okay. Um, it was leaving them very confused. All right. And they was, they were stuck in an illusion and they were confused on who they should choose. All right. Um, or who they should invest in. Um, this was causing your person a lot of turmoil all right they were not sleeping well at night they were very having anxiety fear um not doing well overall all right um but i feel like your person gained some type of information maybe about this third party or they've had some type of gained some type of wisdom or some type of information maybe from the divine about your connection with them all right something came to light here and I feel like they realized who they wanted to have reciprocity. Like they felt like, I feel like they may have realized that they could have reciprocity with you. Um, or they realized who they wanted to give their energy to, who they wanted to put their efforts into. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I feel like this person feels like you guys could have reciprocity, that you guys could build something long term together. Um, have a family together as well. Um, we have the Empress. So I feel like, and then we also have, I also see the Wheel of Fortune here. The Divine is bringing in a new beginning for you in this person. Um, I also feel like your person views you as like the person that could be the mother of their children. Um, I feel like they view you as very nurturing. Um, somebody that could, that's their, their person, their Divine counterpart, right? Um, yeah, the Wheel, the, the Divine... There's going to be big changes in this connection with you and this person, all right? The divine has, is nudging this person to take action. This person feels very passionate about you. Um, and I, feel, I see here that they've been very conflicted about it, all right? They, they do feel a lot of passion for you. They do want to take action towards you. Um, but this person was stuck in conflict here, all right? This person may have had a lot of conflict regarding this third party because there was some type of ending here to a union, all right, there was some type of bad ending that occurred maybe with this person in the third party or this is something that occurred between maybe you you and the you know all of you you maybe had a bad ending with this person as well but i feel like now this conflict is coming to an end i feel like this painful cycle or this cycle of drama um has closed out for this person or will be very soon closing out and now 
we have this union manifesting here. We have this soulmate union manifesting between you and this person. If that's something that you still want with them. Um, they're trying to get through with the seven of wands here. They're trying to get through obstacles to be able to put the effort into you. They could be also really putting a lot of effort into their money, their work, their job. Um, that could have been an obstacle for you guys. Um, like their financial stability. Um, this person's sticking up for themselves, all right? They're standing up for themselves against the karmic. Or this other woman, this other person that they were dealing with. They're setting boundaries. This person that they were dealing with is very cold, very mean, um, very sharp with their words, okay? Um, can also be probably pretty controlling of them. This this situation left your person very exhausted. Right now, they're in hermit mode. If you're, they're not talking to you, it's because they're in hermit mode. Um, they're healing. They're soul searching. They're getting enlightenment from the divine, all right? They may be going through an ascension, all right? But yeah, your person's just exhausted from dealing with this other person, all right? That has like completely depleted them. Um, but what you guys don't know is that even if you and this person are not speaking, there's things going on behind the scenes. Um, there's a new stable beginning. Uh, there's abundance manifesting for you and this person. There's a new stable beginning manifesting for you and this person. There's an offer coming in from this person, okay? So don't have any fear, okay? Yeah, th I see that this person broke your heart, um, but this person, there was definitely, this person broke your heart, bottom line. There was a heartbreak, there was a breakup between you and this this person, but that's going to be changing here, all right, guys? There's you, you guys are manifesting so much positivity, so much optimism, enlightenment, all right, healing. Um, somebody is trying to get the strength to come towards you. Because they see you doing very well for yourself, right? Here's the Queen of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. They see you being very abundant, very successful, happy. Um, they may see you, you know, spending time with you. They just see you doing very well for yourself, all right? This person's trying to get the courage to come towards you. Um, because they're a little bit intimidated now. They know what has happened in the past. They're hoping that, you know, enough time has passed that maybe you, or maybe that you're still open to this, all right? having this 10 of pentacles with them this long-term stability with them all right guys so i will be extending this reading um if you're interested in that the link will be in the description box but if not thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye